All right, I just want to make a quick video. Uh, I've been, you know, looking at getting a TIG welder for a while now. After watching a bu bunch of videos online, uh, Chucky2009, uh, Welding Tips and Tricks, and uh, Weld.com, you know, I decided to go with the Everlast. Uh, I was actually wanting to try to get the uh, one with plasma cutter, but just couldn't swing that right now. So I've got this Everlast Power TIG 185. Uh, it took about a week through UPS and it actually come in, you know, undamaged or anything. But the uh, only problem I've got with it is it actually was sent with the wrong TIG torch. It's supposed to be the DENS 35 connector on it and it's got the DENS 25 connector. Uh, so with, you know, with that being the wrong connector, I haven't been able to do anything with it. Uh, and with it being holiday weekend, I can't get hold of anybody till Monday. But uh, so far, you know, everything looks good on the welder. Uh, it actually is the dual voltage unit, which has the adapter to be able to just plug into regular wall outlet. comes with regulator uh, that actually is in metric reading. Uh, I don't care for it too much. It, so far, just letting it sit, it seems like it leaks a little bit. Uh, but, you know, everything you really need comes with the package. With this one, along with it being dual voltage unit, I actually got it with the foot pedal. And foot pedal is pretty nice. Uh, it's you know all metal. It seems you know pretty good built and everything. Uh, and then the cart that I've actually got it sitting on right now was a Harbor Freight. It's the biggest one that they had. Uh, but as you can see, it you know the welder actually sticks over it quite a bit. So um, after I get some material and everything, I'm just going to build a uh, welding cart for it. But I've, you know, I've got a bunch of stuff for it so far. Uh, I've actually got to get me a stick electrode holder cable and everything for uh, running stick. I went ahead and got some 6013s just to practice with uh, got a bunch of little magnets and everything be able to help with fit and stuff up a couple brushes you know one stainless steel and one for just regular doing steel uh, some new TIG gloves and everything since this is you know my first uh, TIG welder but uh, overall you know it seems like a pretty good unit just uh, you know can't wait to get hold of Everlast Monday to try to get this torch straightened out so I can actually be able to get some helmet time with it but uh, after I get that I'm going to probably try to do another video of you know how the machine actually runs and you know I don't think I'll have any problems uh, you know everybody talks pretty good about them so I don't know I guess we'll find out soon I get a new uh, torch for it but uh, that is it for now thanks for watching